coming in with a great lore story with Herman's book, also known as Dionysus, a legend in his own time. This book can be found on the Piscator's fishing colony in Herman's desk. Hope you guys enjoy this one as much as I do. Dionysus, a legend in his own time. This world of Gilinor has always had its share of heroes throughout its history. Tales of daring exploits of legendary figures such as Erev, Kimora, Robert, and Wally have held children spellbound for generations. But even in these modern times, the world still needs heroes. One such figure, standing protectively between civilization and the forces of chaos, is that of Dionysus. The young Dionysus was educated in Varak, where records tell us that he regularly attended the local Ceredominus chapel. Local tradition has it, that Dionysus led a band of young men to graffiti the Zamorakian temple in the south of the city. Although doubtless such things have happened often in the busy city that is Varak, it was expected that Dionysus would become a priest, but he seems to have had other plans. At the age of 15, the age at which children of that era completed their education, Dionysus is reported to have turned down a prestigious invitation to study on the holy island of Entrana. Instead, he declared a wish to travel the world before settling to a permanent career. The path trodden by young Dionysus is a winding one. The older dwarves living near Keldegrim remember a youth of that name traveling through their minds at that time. They claim that he gave them great assistance in defending the mines from a rogue tribe of trolls, eventually driving the trolls out of those mines completely. It is believed that young Dionysus traveled amongst the mountain tribes after he left the dwarves. One tribe, now disbanded, used to tell of a strange mystical warrior named Desus, surely a corruption of Dionysus who helped defend their camp from the monsters that roamed the northern lands. Desus was said to be an invincible warrior who wielded a powerful staff. Dionysus subsequently traveled across the seas to the tropical island of Karamja, where some of the oldest natives tell about how he brought with him strange herbs that increased their powers in combat. He is also remembered for venturing into the deep caves underneath that island, where very few dare to tread. One Karamjan family claims that a pale-skinned shaman visited their village a few generations ago and told them to build a hut over the entrance to the caves and demand money from anyone wishing to enter. This shaman may have been Dionysus. Even in the depths of the Caridian Desert, some still remember a stranger who lived with a tent-dwelling Bedabin tribe for a while. Studying the great mysterious pyramid of the desert, no one could make him speak of what he discovered about the pyramid or the desert bandits who lived near it. But now, an adult, Dionysus returned to the civilized land and finally traveled to Entrana. Always a tough youth, he had now learnt great magical powers, and many on Entrana recall that they were in awe of his abilities. Venturing fearlessly into the cave under that, the rest of the pages seem to be missing. That's so disappointing. I was just getting into that. I never really read this book before, and I was kind of hoping it would be longer than that. Well, it looks like we've reached the end of Dionysus, a legend in his own time. If anyone doesn't know, spoiler alert, give you time to pause. Dionysus is the wise old man 
and in many ways he represents our character role as a chaotic being that doesn't necessarily take the path of either good nor evil, kind of a, like a moral nihilist of sorts. Which is also why I like Dionysus as the Greek myth as well, one of my favorite Greek gods, the god of well, wine for most recognizably, but also the god of chaos, the god of madness, the god of animalistic impulses, and and the wise old man somewhat represents Dionysus, the Greek myth, in many ways. I like the symbolic aspect of this relation here and his true name, so I hope you guys learned something from this. I know I sure did. I wish there was a way to find the missing pages in all these various books that have missing pages in them. I think that would be a cool thing to do for completionists, to be able to find all the various missing pages and complete some of the books and complete some of the lore that's out there in this game. Well, wish in one hand, right guys? Peace.